Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are, of course, on Critical Mode. This is episode 52, I believe. In the last episode, we actually rescued Riku and brought him back to his normal form. Somehow, he changed his clothes, but we... I, I don't know, man. Uh, either way, his clothes fit him. He looks great. He looks real good. We also have Kyrie here that's joined us, but we already saw that. We defeated Luxord and Saix, and now... Uh, and I, I was kind of wrong. I said in the last episode that that one was going to be the penultimate episode and that this one was going to be the complete uh, the complete end. However, I have decided to change that and we are going to proceed forward basically until the last boss in this episode. The entirety of the last boss fight will actually be done in its own thing. Now, I'm actually going to pop final form here and the reason for that is just to get that little bit of extra uh, form uh, experience that we can get just from this area, which is actually quite a lot, as you can tell. Uh, now, we could use the Reaction Command Berserk, but honestly, I think it's just faster just to annihilate these guys as fast as we can. And of course, you know, maybe watch out for these dancers, because those dancers are just so annoying. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get out of that if we can. Hopefully not get hit by any of this. Okay, uh-oh. This isn't looking good, team. This is not looking good. Okay, we, we, we did it. We did it. We did it. Alright, now we can go into this guy. Perfect. It was scary there for a second, but at least we got the double experience that we needed there. And then we can go ahead and get onto the samurai, which is probably going to kill me because it's a samurai. And that's just how they work. And, okay, good. That one went down. We should probably just heal real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat these. Now, I do recommend just going into your final form whenever you get a chance. The experience that you get from it is just so good uh, and is, is very, very needed going forward. Now, we haven't really fought with Riku uh, on our side, but now we actually get him. And he does have a limit command called, uh, what is it, Dark Aura, I believe. It is incredibly, incredibly strong. Now, these guys, I will go ahead and use a reaction command when it comes up. There it is, uh, because it is it is actually just super, super good. A little Eclipse, and then Magnus Storm. It's like the Saix fight all over again. And that should, well, I'll go ahead and use this one as well. I'm kind of just doing this to make sure that it gets done and that we don't die. Uh, but again, that experience at this stage of the game is incredibly, incredibly handy. Look at this place. Ruin and Creation Passage. This is so cool looking. It looks like you can't go anywhere. There's also some sorcerer enemies that you'll fight, but you've already fought all of these. Look at this. Look at this pathway that gets created. How cool looking is it? Oh my god, I love it. Look how much damage we can do with Riku and the Oblivion Keyblade equipped. It is just ridiculous how fast we can chew through these nobodies. All right, so we can continue up here. Of course, there are some chests and whatnot that you can get. There actually um, is an easy way of knowing where to go, and that's just seeing where the light is. Wherever the light, uh, you can kind of see it, this little blue beam right here, that's letting you know that there's a passage right there. It's actually super easy to find. We'll go ahead and grab this, and then we'll go right into the Sorcerer. Luckily, we got a Mithril Stone, which is good, because we actually need those for synthesizing, which there will be a full-on synthesizing guide before the last boss encounter of the entire game. So... Basically, what's going to end up happening here, and why there has been such a delay between videos, is I'm going to complete the story, or at least as much of the story as I as makes sense, and then I'm going to uh, do all of the extra stuff, and then come back and beat the final bosses. So, there will be uh, a little bit of a gap. Hopefully, though, this will all be done before the new year. As you can tell, as you can see right up there, there is a, another thing that we can go ahead and get at some point. Let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Unfortunately, our drive gauge is really low, even though we have been doing a little bit of battle. Um, I'm actually going... To, oh, thank you, Donald. There we go. That guy's dead. We do want to get that puzzle piece that's actually... Well, there's actually a couple puzzle pieces that we're missing here. Um, and I don't actually think we can get them without being in a drive form, unfortunately. I don't believe we can actually... Um, that could be wrong. I could be very wrong. We're, we're very close to getting it, as you can see. Uh, but we might actually be able to glide from a higher point um, and get it and get it there. God, Donald's heals are so clutch in this game. Oh my god. So much better than the first game. So let's go ahead and finally open this chest, which is going to contain a mithril crystal yet again. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, I think... I was going to say, I don't know if you can actually reach, though. Like, I don't know if this will work right... Probably not. I was going to say, I think you could potentially, like, jump and then... But I think I'm wrong. I think you need... I think you need to be using a drive form to get these two puzzle pieces. But don't worry. We will get those puzzle pieces. 
Uh, speaking of puzzle pieces, there will also be a, like, a puzzle piece guide video, um, as well. Which is going to be a little strange, because it's gotta somehow contain all of the puzzle pieces that we've already gotten in the game so far, as well as the ones that we haven't. I don't even know that- it's gonna be a lot of editing. That's it. That's it. Alright, so let's go ahead, grab this, which is going to contain an Aura Calicum, which is perfect for us. Uh, now, I think from here we can potentially get that puzzle piece. No. Again, uh, oh, there we go. We got it. Sunset puzzle piece. Perfect. Now, I don't actually think there is a way of getting this one. Uh, from, from, at least from where we stand. At, let's, let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, if we do this, and then we... No, not quite. Not quite, guys. And we're not quite able to use a drive gauge to get it. But we did get that sunset puzzle piece, which is awesome. We've gotten a lot of them in the game. Like, that's... That's a fact. We've gotten a lot of them. And then we can continue all the way back up here and be prepared for some awesome, awesome uh, uh, cutscenes and cinematics because this is when the game is really reaching its conclusion. Sora! Riku! There's gonna be no end to this. Together we can stop them. Hmm. Be gone from here. Leave these creatures to us. But there's no way we could take them all. I will be sending them after Xemnas. Or perhaps you would rather fight them yourself. Frankly, my dear, I'd rather run! Off with you, then. Well, if it ain't the boat boy king. Time to weigh anchor, Captain Pete. What, like abandoned ship? I don't think so. Sora, your majesty, do not forget, when I've destroyed them all, this castle shall be mine. Now, looky here. Opportunities like this don't come along every day, you know. Bring them on! We gotta hurry. But... They're doing what their hearts command. We can't interfere. There is so many things that I, like, kind of don't like about that scene, to be honest with you. Like, I love that Maleficent and Pete are even fighting, but... Why? And also, I don't... I don't know. Okay, guys, here we go. Xemnas stands right before us and Kingdom Hearts. Let's see what happens. Oh, my Kingdom Hearts. Ruined. to start all over again. Warriors of the Keyblade, go forth and bring me more hearts. No! Denizens of Light, answer this. Why do you hate the darkness? Huh, we don't hate it. It's just kind of scary. But the world's made of light and darkness. You can't have one without the other. Because darkness is half of everything. Sort of makes you wonder why we are scared of the dark. It's because of who's lurking inside it. Then allow me another question. You accept darkness, yet choose to live in the light. So why is it that you loathe us who teeter on the edge of nothing? We who were turned away by both light and dark, never given a choice. That's simple. It's because you mess up our worlds. That may be. However, what other choice might we have had? Just give it a rest. You're nobodies. 
You don't even exist. You're not sad about anything. <laughs> Very good. You don't miss a thing. I cannot feel sorrow. No matter what misery befalls the worlds, no matter what you think, what you feel, or how you exist. Guys! And now we fight against Xemnas himself. This fight is not the final fight. It's actually super easy. So right off the bat, he is going to use this like teleporting thing. You want to come over here for one hecka of a uh, reaction command. Now, this one is actually kind of tricky. You do not want to use this on clash or breakthrough. You want to or breakdown. You want to use it on finish, which is a very short amount of time. So you got to focus. Don't use it with clash. Don't use it with breakthrough. Finish. There we go. This is going to do a ton of damage, but if you miss this reaction command, uh, you if you do clash, you don't do anything. Look at, oh my god, so good. Uh, this will actually stun him, and then you'll be able to go in and uh, and do some some real damage to him. He's going to come in and start hitting you like that. Just just use Reflega if you have it. Uh, that can do a ton of damage. So right now, I'm going to use Reflega. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, that's fine. I'll use this. Uh, he doesn't do any damage. I don't recommend fighting him on the stairs, though, just because it... Obviously, you have, like, very... I need to get out of here. Uh, you have very little room. And if if you're unfortunate, like I just was, um, he can he can do some serious damage. So I'm going to use an elixir on Sora real quick. And then I'm going to charge in here and see if I can get some free damage in. Look at how much damage that actually does. Just like that, you can shoot through it. It's not a hard fight. I recommend fighting him down here. I'm going to see if I can get Reflega up. Uh, that kind of worked, but he teleported out of it. So, unfortunately for me, that didn't, didn't work quite as good. Reflega... Oh, my God. It's such a long stun, though, if he does get you. But with the ability to zoom around and do all of that jazz with with uh, with glide and everything, you shouldn't have much of a problem. Um, seriously, like the fight isn't hard. And the next time that he ends up doing the reaction command, we will. So the reaction command does damage. However, if you miss uh, with that finish, if you for whatever reason, I'll use limit right now just to get that extra and that invis in in invincibility frames, uh, and then go back in on him. And you can just see now he'll do his perfect. So now we can run up here and we can do the reaction command for probably the final time, which I hope because it's super cool. Uh, it's just such a good looking, such a good, I'll be quiet this time during it so you can see how, how just beautiful it is. But make sure when you're doing this that you don't use Clash or Break Down yourself. Breakthrough, it is Breakthrough, that's what I thought. Look at how, sorry. How cool is that, that attack? And down goes Zemnis. Maximum HP increased, maximum MP increased for Sora. Answer me! You're okay! Where's Xemnas? What? Hear me, Kingdom Hearts. It seems we must begin anew. Ah, but know this. I will give to you as many hearts as it takes. Mark my words, you can no more be complete without me than I without you. Heed me, Kingdom Hearts. Lend me your power so that we may be complete. The power to erase the fools that hinder us. Goodness! Hearts quivering with hatred. Xemnas, don't! Hearts burning with rage. 
You never ran! Heart scarred by envy. That fool Ansem said the heart's true nature was beyond his understanding. But it's not beyond mine. Hearts are the source of all power. Zemnus, you can't hide from us. We're not going to let him get away now. Look at that. What's going on? Kingdom Hearts. Let's go. Xemnas must be inside. The worlds gave us this doorway. They want us to be the guardians of their destiny. Hmm. Once we go through, there's no turning back. It's victory or oblivion. So, Sora, are you ready? And we get Secret Ansem Report 13. The, the, the Altar of Knot. To proceed to the final boss battles of this game, you can proceed up here and use the final door. However, that's not what we're going to be doing. Uh, so, we can talk to Rihu. Do you remember before we stood facing each other on opposite sides of that door? Now we stand side by side. Let's go home together this time. Kairi, I'm tired of waiting, so don't tell me to stay behind. From now on, wherever one of us goes, the other follows. Got it? Absolutely. Mickey? Xemnas has probably grown even stronger and is waiting for us. This battle began with Ansem's research. Let's, let's finish it for him. Donald? Don't let your guard down. We may wind up getting separated at any time. Come on. Let's save the world again. Goofy, the Kingdom Hearts opened the door to Xemnas. We can't let this chance slip by. It's going to be a tough fight, but we can do it. And we sure can, Goof Troop. We sure can. So, after defeating Xemnas in that little fight that we just did, we unlock pretty much everything in the game now is now available to us. New chapters are going to be at the Olympus Coliseum, and it's possible to collect everything in the game now. So, now is when I will uh, kind of put a, a stop to the main story. And I'm going to go and do everything. That includes some guide videos of all the puzzle pieces, synthesizing hardest enemies in the game, the Goddess of Fate Cup, the Paradox Cup. All of that will be done. So let's go ahead. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and save the game, and I can show you real quick what happens on the world map. So, back on the world map, we can head on over to Olympus Coliseum. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there should be... Uh, well, I guess it actually... Well, does it say... Maybe I'm wrong. The Titan Cup has become... Maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I can't be wrong. I'm never wrong. It might not have procced because we didn't do the Titan Cup yet. That could be it. So, we will do all of that. We will do everything that we can do. We'll collect all the puzzle pieces, get all the items for uh, ulti uh, the Ultima Weapon, which is Sora's best Keyblade in the game. Uh, we will power up all of the Drive Forms. Actually, uh, I probably can't show you right now. We'll also need to complete Jiminy's Journal. We'll need to go through and make sure that we get all of the treasures... Uh, all of the pieces, all of the maps, all of the missions done in every single world. Uh, so we have a bit of a cleanup to do, and then we can go and finally fight Xemnas. Now, I have a question for you all, because I've never really... I've always been torn on Xemnas as a character. How do you guys feel about him? Do you like him? I personally feel that Ansem was just a much stronger villain. But I'm curious what you guys think. To me, he's kind of like... Well, if he doesn't have a heart, what is his motivation? Like, what... What... I don't understand is he purely logical he's like well if i have a heart i'll be complete like is that it i don't know i don't know how i feel about Xemnas. so let me know in the comments below what you guys what you guys think of him uh sorry about the delay on these videos i've kind of been torn on what i want to do in the game but i finally decided that i will i will i did this episode and then we're gonna go do all the side stuff and then the final final boss uh sequence of the game which is actually a fairly long sequence which is why i wanted it in its own video thank you guys so much for watching this this video is actually coming out on Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, uh, all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for, for supporting the channel. Uh, showing up on screen right now is some things that you can click to further support the channel, whether that's through watching a video or Patreon.com, where for just a dollar a month, you get early access to these videos. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to Xemnas.